for the female bantamweight title. Fighting out of the blue corner, representing Hungary, Melinda Fabian, the Predator. I don't think I've ever seen someone come out in a sweater vest before. <laughs> she hasn't done this before. <laughs> so, <laughs> and she didn't tell me at the uh, fighter interviews what it is. So <laughs> I'm assuming it's like a classic Hungarian piece. I'm, I'm, I'm Hungarian myself, so you know I gotta respect it. The Hunga Hungarian dance. Yeah. So Melinda Fabian, she's uh, got a 2 0 record here at Karate Combat, says this is her natural process culminating in and a in title the fight corner, tonight. From Venezuela, Omaira La Guerrera Molina. Omaira Molina makes her way to the pit, first time in a little over a year. She brings in that undefeated record. Look out for those sniper like straight shots right down the middle but she has added an awful lot of boxing into her routine as well that's what she's mostly been focusing on for the last 12 months so she's really excited to showcase that tonight of course melinda fabian has a lot of mixed rules experience as well she fought in the ufc she's a very very dangerous fighter if amara molina takes her lightly oh yeah two veterans molina's favorite weapon is the straight cross so watch out for that. Yeah, we saw that massive knockout she had against Fighter Erica Santos. Enter the pit! Wow. Just a reminder, the Karate Combat Live app is, a, is live on iOS and Android. Use it to win more tokens and help govern Karate Combat. Go ahead, download the app now. Get your free token allocation to play up only gaming with Karate Combat. Your referee for this one is Mark Goddard. Final instructions from the veteran referee in the middle. Black pants for Molina. White pants for the Hungarian Melinda Fabian. Molina right away start with the feints. Probably trying to set up her favorite weapon, which is a cross. Yeah, a heavy, heavy favorite with the voting token holders. You can see 64% of them going the way of the Venezuelan. And of course, if you're playing along with the voting app at home, if you're in the top 100 in the rankings, you'd have been given some free tickets to come tonight. So go ahead and get playing up only gaming, help control the league, and get your token allocation now. Wait. The stop, girl, stop. And I'm Listen, loving to see Omar Molina throw jabs. Right? Hey. Adding that uh, Western boxing in alongside her uh, 10 gold Pan American medals. Yeah, but Brazilians of uh, her opponent, Fabian, is amazing. She will hang in there. Oh. And like you see, she's coming back. She it's touched the strikes. She, she, she touched the, the target so far three times with her cross. It just didn't hit perfectly in the right angle, but it touches her, her, her opponent right right on the on the face. Molina really working that jab to keep distance. Yeah, a lot of respect between these two ladies. Neither one of them really having a bad thing to say about the other in the run up to this one. Good striking there. Fabian's base is in Kempo Karate, the more traditional uh, Shotokan style for uh, Molina. She's got to watch out for that left hook because she has a right hand down the whole time, Molina. She might get countered. If there is going to be a knockout, that will probably be it. You've got to love the uh, Mortal Kombat reference there coming in on uh, X. Lots of tweets flying in. Thank you to those of you joining us to watch Karate Combat 43 tonight. Yes, you to watch out. Well, Fabian landed a good right over the top of the guard there. Fabian, not a big fan of Las Vegas. Last time she was here, she was caught by the UFC. Yeah, she said it was one of the, well, the worst night of her entire career, and it's a bit of redemption for her. 
guess te technically we're on a moon base, so. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, both nice of them. left hook. You know, she throws so much power in. Molina, when she threw her, her cross, she throws so much power with her cross. And what I like is, after her cross, she oh. shifts her weight on the other side and finish with the lead left hook. Aljamain Sterling in the house here tonight watching. But the problem Happy to is have the former UFC bantamweight champ with us tonight. With Molina, sometimes when she throws the cross, she stays there a little bit too long. She has to get pull out really fast because she might get hit with that left hook counter of her opponent, that one, and if that connects, oof. Well, let's take a look at some of the replays here from this first round. They both got some good licks in. You see the clean strikes landing there and the right of Melinda Fe of uh, Amira Molina, sorry. Oof. Very interesting to have Sterling and Sugar Sean in the house tonight, sitting in different sides of the arena. Of the arena. Yeah, yeah. Keep them far away. Keep them away from each other. We got Mark Goddard here, so it's going to be cool. <laughs> These girls not afraid to swing. No. And, and very often, knockouts happen when it's in the middle of an exchange. Because they both transfer the weight. And off often, balance. yes, you're off balance, and sometimes you you're moving towards that punch. Oh, big curving over and right hits the top of the head of Fabian. Again, she's unfazed though. She can absolutely take a punch. That's a blood. Oh, oh, big cut has opened up. She takes another shot in the air. And these are clean shots in the temple again, the right hand. Molina just landing those shots. Yeah, and they've gone from that straight stop, stop, punch stop, to stop, having stop, that stop, slight stop, curve stop, of a big no, overhand, no, please, please, please. overhand right lead hook kind of kind of vibe. She throws to the overhand, then she threw her right hook, and then she threw her cross. It's very smart with the same hand throwing three different punches in a row. Stop, stop, stop. Fabian, two more shots stop, stop, stop. on the way time, in here. You're holding on to the close as well. No need for the pinch. Relax, relax, relax. Look at me. Okay, turn around, turn around, Tommy. Let's go. Turn around, Tommy. So a quick warning from Mark Goddard about holding on in the clinch. Fabian unfazed by that blood. Oh, she's... Yeah, there, is, there is a long way still to go in this round. Oh! Nice, nice timing. Oh, no! Oh, Fabian firing back now. Wow. Uh, this is Rock'em Sock'em Robots in the go. pocket. And this is only the second round. They're throwing a lot of energy out here. It's only halfway through the second round as well. Jeez. Fabian's leaking, but it looks to be in that hairline, not affecting her vision at all. Yeah, that's a great point. It's nice in a way up out of the eyes. She can just... Oh, oh, that, to go. Oh, that left hook connect. Yeah. That's the hook I was talking about. Just to watch out for that. Minute left in this second round here. Wow, wow. Fabian landed some shots. Step right, stop, 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 stop. Oh, again, they're gonna get warned right, for right, holding right, in the right, clinch. I wonder if uh, Melina's gonna start wondering what she has to do to put Fabian away. She's landed cleanly multiple times. I think it's the sweater vest. As long as it doesn't take a little bit of your heart away, you're going to be just fine. But if you start getting tired, then it's going to be a problem. Oh, that one snapped the head back, but she oh! has the rock. The left hook, Russia again, the left. What a war. This is what it's about. There is no quit in either of these ladies. They are wow. slinging leather here. <laughs> that karate combat 43. Wow. And we've got a cut on the ear. Of Molina now. Unreal. Blood sport. Boss GSP, what does it mean to have a cut like that? How does it affect your fight? Well, it depends. You know, the, the, the cut, I don't think it's a dangerous cut in, in a way that the, the, I don't think the fight can be stopped because of that cut. Oh, but wow. When you're in the middle of a fight, you don't know where the blood comes from. So it, it, it could affect your confidence sometimes. Daggers, Mike. Daggers in the eyes there. Bonk, bonk, look at that. Cross hook, yes. Yeah, let's take a look at some of these replays, and boy, are there going to be a lot of them. Everybody landed in that round. I don't even know how you score that. <laughs> this is representative of karate combat. When you don't have a chance to hold or grapple, you got no choice but to strike each other, and that's what these girls are doing right now. It's incredible. 
Yeah, this pace is not slowing whatsoever. They're not even choosing the clinch to try and slow the pace. It's amazing. I mean, the gas tanks are completely full. Yeah, and you got to remember, this is uh, it's a five-round fight. Oh, yeah. So this is not the last round we're going into. <laughs> what? <laughs> and potentially could go to a six. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's, yeah. let's not get too far ahead of ourselves, but... Uh, they're going to come back like say, to the pit here. Like you say, uh, Bass, we will cross that bridge when we get there. <laughs> the, the crowd is fired up. The crowd's fired up. <laughs> oh, they're swinging already. Fabiana's a hell of a chin. She, she was walking forward when she... When Molina connected with... Oh, and she's got... Well, that's the second time I've seen her shake her leg out. And I wonder if she's hurt her ankle on checking or throwing a kick here. She just doesn't look affected. That Hungarian is just flowing through the blood right now. Again, throwing... I love that, you know, she keeps her shots tight even when they're in those big exchanges in the pocket. Yeah. The clean, technical shots, even in the face of fire. Yep. And, and, and she, but she knows also that left hook, that is a weapon. If she can land it flush... That could be trouble for Molina. Now Molina landed the left. Oh, oh shoot! She's wobbling a little bit. Well, look at the replay on the picture and picture oh, screen. That's stop, where she hurt stop, her stop, ankle. Stop. On that kick, stop, it was uh, a check of the kick, and she's gonna. Well, let me tell you, the adrenaline is setting in now. She's gonna bite down on her mouthpiece and go here, and she lands the left again. Fabian just showing a little bit more aggressiveness right now. Wow! Whoa! Oh, oh, Molina looks hurt. She's still oh, the battle cry! Still 90 seconds to go and get out of the So smart! Stop, stop, so smart stop, stop. taking more air out of your opponent. Oh, she has a hard time standing back up now. Well, Melina shakes it off. Oh, and they go straight back to work. Oh, the goal cuts inside. Melina oh, oh, fading out. out. The top. She's going to get one. Out. Yeah, she's going to get oh, one yeah. for holding here. Oh and again, the Hungarian doesn't lands. get those gloves up. Oh my oh goodness! My God. Oh. He's down oh, one he's more time. Stand up, stand up, stand up. And they're going to get broken oh here. Mark Goddard brings them back to their feet. 45 I, seconds I, I, before we even hit whoa. the championship rounds. I thought I thought Goddard was. Oh. 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 Belinda Fabian, the predator, is stalking here in the close of the third. Stop, 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 stop. This is insane. 25 seconds. Can Melina stay in it to get a minute rest? And then she, she's going to need that minute to regroup here. 20 seconds left. I, I tell you what, I want the compu stats oh. off the back of this. Oh. I am in awe right now of what I'm watching. <laughs> yeah. I am in awe of what I'm watching. This is insanity. And the problem is that they, they, they keep their heads straight oh. while they're throwing. So oh, oh, big right oh. Oh. oh, my God! <laughs> this entire oh, arena God. is on their feet for these two ladies. <laughs> we are going to championship rounds four and maybe five. And maybe six. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the doctors, I think, are going to do a quick check on the on the eyes, but I think they're fine. Do not blow your nose. That's a very important thing for uh, Molina right now. If she blows her nose, she's done. Yes. And that, that last round was all Fabian. She finished very, very strong. She got very close to finish the fight. So these are the stats so far. No. I One day. Well, as if you didn't have enough to look at the replays. Whoa. Oh, they're going to check the mouse under the eye of Amira Molina. That hematoma is swelling up. If it affects her vision, she won't be able to continue. But let me tell you, she is going to say she can see, I assure you. <laughs> oh, yes. There's no quitting in her. I like it, Doc. Wow, look at Fabian. 
She's been in the battle. <laughs> yeah, she's saying she feels great. No, 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 no. The doctor has called a stoppage to this one, and Amira Molina is protesting. But you know what? Say, save yourself for another day. I, I mean, I, sometimes it. I mean, people will not like me to say that. I may be a little bit conservative on, on that, but sometimes uh, health, health is more important. Well, she she took a, 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 a she had a, a she took a lot of damage in the, in the last round. Felina sure. is protesting, and the President Awesome, I think, is saying to her that if he could control this, he would 100% say this was still going. She looks, she looks good, she looks coherent. I mean, I'm not a doctor, obviously. I mean, I, 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 I gotta be honest, I want to interview the doctor and see what yeah, he well, saw. I mean, sometimes those cuts are a little bit deeper than you can see from a distance. Is he, is, are they saying it's the cut or the... I think they're saying the swelling is closed on. Well, you know, there's a really good chance he can see damage inside the eye that we can't, of course. I know we're obviously all emotional because we wanted this fight to continue. But fighter safety, safety, safety is first. paramount. I would love to, uh, to see a rematch between these two. That's, I mean, what an, what an incredible fight. What an wow. incredible fight. Let's go ahead and get the official announcement and crown this Ooh, champion. Wow. By TKO, a new female bantamweight champion from the blue corner, Belinda Pavillon. That's going to be an immediate rematch, maybe. I mean, I mean, fight wow. of the night, guys. Fight of the night, hands down. Oh, yeah. The inaugural wo women's uh, title. Melinda Fabian is going to take this title home to Hungary and improve her karate combat record to 3-0, handing Omira Molina her first loss inside the pit. Yeah, sometimes it's just a bad luck. You know, she might have had some damage in her eyes that the doctor was forced to stop the fight. It's unfortunate. Yeah, but this is great for a rematch That's because right. everybody knows that she could have continued, you know, and hopefully with that said, there's going to be an immediate rematch. That will be something because yeah, what a, a fight this was. It's, I mean. it's not like a bad loss, you know. It's not really like, like I mean, it's a... Uh, I mean, it's going to sting all the same, though. Let's be, let's be fair. Yeah, yeah, it, it does, but it's it, it's hard. But a great night for Fabian. She did who amazing. Now loves Las Vegas all over again. <laughs> right. Welcome back to Las Vegas. I mean, no Welcome one back to the Turkish. No one can ever say she didn't earn that. Let's go ahead and get some words pit side with our new champion. She is with King Botch. Wow. Congratulations on your fight. It was a bloody fight. How do you feel? I feel very good. I am very thankful for my opponent. She is a really good fighter. We did have a good performance. Thank you. Now, what's next for you? Who are you calling out? First of all, I want to say things. Uh, three things I want to say. First, you're... Okay, she deserves, she deserves. Okay, first thing, your only limitation is your imagination, okay? Second, always believe in yourself because if you don't, no one else will. And the third one, if you want your dreams to come true, have people around you who believe in you, okay? Very powerful words, congratulations again. What's up, Mr. President? You got some words to say? Yes, I do. I got to say, say something. This was the greatest female match I've ever seen in karate combat history. I'm very proud of both you guys. And it's an honor to put a belt around either of you guys. Thank you so much for that fight. Thank you. Absolutely love it. I'm very proud of both of you. Thank you. Back to you, Robin. Yes, well, we congratulate the new champion. And look, we got a champion right here, Alex Volkanovsky. You heard what Fabian just said about believing and striving. This is something you're about, too. Yeah, that's what it's all about. You know, you obviously got to back yourself and you got to put the work in. 
So uh, she's 100% uh, right. And how about that fight? That was insane. What do you think of this place? I mean, the fights are crazy. The vibe is crazy. Are you having a good time, man? Oh, mate, it is. It's, uh, I love it. Everything's uh, nice and close. I'm like right there. You feel like you're on the mats with them. Like it's, it's pretty incredible. It's, I'm glad to be here. Are you taking a little bit of break right now and, and retooling? You're still the champion of the world. Where are you at right now, champ? I mean, I'm good. So I'm, uh, I'm in camp. I'm training, uh, training hard. Uh, that's the best uh, thing to do. I, lo I love to train. I love being in there. It's uh, what it's all about. I'm in my prime. I've got to capitalize. So I'll be back in uh, February. Looking forward to that. But uh, while I'm here in Vegas, enjoy some fights. Uh, yeah, really enjoying myself. Pettis versus Ben Henderson tonight. What do you think? Oh, mate, I'm really looking forward to that one, actually. So uh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait for the main event. Obviously, Gogo -Go as well. Uh, fellow Masso, I'm Macedonian myself. So shout out him. I'll be tuning in for that as well. Thank you for being here and talking to me, champ. Really appreciate you.